Welcome back to Turning Rose Mount Upside Down and welcome to the channel if you're new. Just to give you an idea, this is a self build myself and my partner and we're using a Woodcrete ICF block that is made by Eco Bricks. In this video, we are covering building our first lift. So we've done the pour at six courses. We're now continuing with the next six courses. And here we will be building our first gable end and installing our first rebar lintel. Um, I put it in the yellow bucket. This was the first time we've experienced laying these blocks onto blocks that are cast with the concrete. And to be honest, it was much like business as usual, really. You just lay them as you've done, and we followed our, the same process that we've done from the very start. And to be honest, I think this is a lot to do with the amount of care and attention that was put into the poor day in cleaning the surface of those top blocks to ensure a good mating surface for these next blocks on top. And this was all confirmed when running a level across the top of the blocks and they were all running true, none required a packer to bring them up to level and square. We installed three full courses of blocks and then it came to installing our sort of rip cut blocks that you'd have seen from our previous video where we were utilizing the table saw. So you can see the utility here. We have our finished floor elevation. We have our underside to first floor elevation. And then it is this red line here denotes where the 100 mil sections will sit to begin our eaves. So let's get cut in. So with the 100 mil sections cut, it's then on to build our first rebar lintel above the back door. Our structure engineer provides a detailed example of the type of rebar lintel we're building. It shows you the blocks you need to use, the minimal amount of overhang required, and how you might need to cut the top blocks. This is a 205 by 120 lintel. We were also provided a cross-section detail of this lintel, so it provides loads of information. The 35mm cover of concrete around the piece of rebar, how the face block should sit, and how you would cut the inner channel to create the 205 by 120 opening for the concrete. To support the face blocks on end for the lintel, Ecobricks manual says that we need to add an additional goal post. For the concrete pour, these openings will be further supported with acro pops.
here I am just modifying a face block to create the 205 by 120 channel for the concrete lintel. Okay. We then look at the drawings and with reference to the bending schedule we would find the correct bar mark. That bar mark as I've said before helps us locate what piece of rebar is used and designed for the lintel. And then with the spacers, you know, basically need the whole thing cutting out, isn't it? There, and then in there. To be honest, it's really interesting, like chucking the blocks down. But this is like really interesting. As you may have heard, we just needed to modify the blocks at the end of the lintel to allow for good concrete flow. You got it. <laughs> I'm struggling now. I'm dying. Pleased with that. Yeah, me too. It took a little bit of thinking, but. Any blocks cut in this fashion, as you can imagine, will require shuttering prior to the concrete pour. Once the lintel was in, me and Chris could start laying the 100mm sections that we prepared earlier.
So with the 100 mil sections of blocks laid, it was then time to start building up three courses on this gable end. Ellie and I had installed two ridge poles with string lines so we can maintain the correct angle pitch for the roof. We'll include this in another video and our method and I look forward to hearing the comments on it because I'm sure we went a very roundabout way of achieving this and I'm sure there's an easier way. Um. Honestly, they're not looking bad at all. Which is very good seeing as they're sat on our... Wow. Seeing as they're sat on our 100 mil... They are honestly... Absolutely... They're bob on. They're perfect. first course on this gable was just standard block laying practice. The second course requires you to not only align it with the string line denoting the roof pitch, so you've got sufficient block coverage, but the main importance is that you align the vertical column inside the block with the vertical columns of the blocks below. It is those vertical columns of concrete in the wall that provide the main strength Speaking with Andy Steele from Ecobricks, he really emphasises how you need to treat the blocks as concrete shuttering. But the main thing you want to do, you can modify the blocks as much as you like, but you must try and maintain those vertical columns all the way throughout the build. And here is the view down those gable blocks where you can see the vertical columns of the blocks we've just laid match those of the blocks that are cast below. Here you'll see the 100 mil cut sections and as you can see, they fit seamlessly. That's the first gable built up to six courses. We will cut the blocks into the true gable once both are built. Obviously this needs to be done prior to the concrete pour, as you can imagine. The aspect of the build that you're looking at now I'd have liked to have tried to include in this video. But in our naivety of being self builders, we thought this area would be actually quite simple, but it's turned quite complicated. We are now at a point where we're past those complications and we look forward to showing you how we've overcome them. And a lot of this is just down to our build not being to eco bricks dimensions. But you'll see all that in the next video. So finally, Thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative.